ran for public office in the 2021 Canadian federal election. I ran in the Prince George Peace River Northern Rockies area uh, against the incumbent, a guy who I have voted for in the past, a guy named Bob Zimmer. The reason I joined and ran against him was because the then leader of the Conservative Party of Canada was Aaron O'Toole, who was a guy who I had supported as a member of the Conservative Party. I believed he was true blue conservative. Turns out he was not. Um, when the election was running up to it, there were... Aaron O'Toole came out in favor of carbon tax. The carbon tax is a liberal construct, deeply flawed. It's easy to prove that liberals do not care about the environment. The only green thing they love is the green they can pull out of your wallet with their scammy policies. <clears throat> By all means, you know, if you want to know how I know and I can prove it's, it's on my art channel, quite a few videos about the truth about the carbon tax, if you want to know. Um, it's a scam. And I was really disappointed by that, because it's uh, fairly common knowledge that the carbon tax runs contrary to conservative principles. And I remember being very disgusted by this, and I made the statement to someone that, just watch, O'Toole will come out in favor of the Liberals' gun bans next. And I nailed that one. Um, the next day he did just that, and that's when I decided that I was going to try to run for public office. So. I uh, was fortunate enough to be endorsed by the Canadian Fourth Front, uh, which is a party that believes in direct democracy, and, and uh, I believe in democracy, and uh, having democracy and restored in Canada seems like a very worthwhile pursuit. Anyway, um, I got the endorsements, I qualified, I participated in three or four uh, online Zoom type meetings that were candidates' debates. Um, when the issue of COVID lockdowns, COVID policy came up, my audio was cut, I was not allowed to speak to that issue. The only people who were allowed to speak were people who had both been vaccinated and who were fully supportive of vaccination. I was not. I had very good reason not to be. Uh, my mother-in-law, who was double-jabbed, uh, passed away 60 days later from COVID, we were told. Uh, the alarm bells went off for me. And uh, to be clear, um, I am anti-vax. I never got any of the flu shots, ever. I don't like getting injections. I don't trust the government. And um, I believed that I was better off with my natural immunity. I believed I was better off if I just tried to stay as healthy as I could by eating properly and eating healthy and, and um, trying to, you know, stay in some level of physical condition, you know. Uh, and that worked out for me, even though I do have some health issues. Um, I have a disability. I was pushed out of the workforce in 2007 because of it. But uh, truth is, I'm not a politician. And uh, anyway, what I saw was corruption. 
I mean, I knew we had corruption, gross corruption in Canada, but I saw it at a level that was sickening, to say the least. Um, and uh, when it was all said and done, I got like 62 votes, I believe, when the tally was in. So, suffice to say, I didn't do very well, but I did manage to uh, talk to Bob Zimmer, uh, tore a strip off him a couple times on some of the things that he's done, because he fully supported Aaron O'Toole. I mean, he's a, who is a liberal? Acts just like a liberal, smells like a liberal, walks like a liberal, <laughs> must be a liberal. And um, Bob acts a lot like a liberal as well throughout this whole COVID thing, the Conservatives were very silent, very quiet. They had nothing to say. Went along, go along, which was disgusting to me. They are the official opposition, and it was their job to oppose the government and at least question things, you know, do a little digging. It wasn't that hard to find alternative views. One that I found, one of the most qualified doctors in Canada, Dr. Roger Hodkinson, stated that this is the science on masking. Holes in masks are three micron, the virus are one micron. Trying to use a mask to stop a virus is equivalent to using a hockey net to stop mosquitoes. That's the science, those are the facts. The government, on the other hand, was saying, we're following the science, and if you don't agree with us, then you're anti-science, and you're anti-vaccine. Well. It's never been a crime to be anti-vaccine, and I don't know why it is now. Uh, you know, that's an individual choice. I mean, how come my body, my choice doesn't apply to me? I am at an age where the science says that I am at a slightly higher risk of serious injury if I caught the virus. But I chose not to, um, because I don't trust the government. Because I dug around on the internet, and I found very good cause. I know who's behind these vaccines, I know who developed them, and I know what's in them, and uh, I like my DNA just the way it is, thank you very much. And uh, I ran for public office, I was not successful. It was an experience, um, there was a few highlights, but it was not the highlight of my life. It was a major pain in the ass, to, to, to tell you the truth. I just went through the process of filing a return on my income and expenses for for the uh, election, and I found that to be uh, a bit of a trial. Even though I was submitting a nil return, I made no money, I paid no money, really. The most expensive thing I did was express mail the uh, tax forms into the to Ottawa. Uh, will I run again? I don't know. You know, I don't know. I've really got a bad taste in my mouth. I don't believe that regular people like me who are not weffers will not be given opportunity to speak to any of the important issues of this day. I believe that we will be silenced, that we will be... I can't tell you how many times I was called a racist. It's not racist to disagree with liberals. That's actual, that's the right thing to do. Liberals are insane. And it, it, disagreeing with a liberal is the right choice. And that is the job of a conservative. You know, and, and open debate used to be something we cherished here in Canada, and we should return to doing that. Uh, liberals need to get a dictionary. Um, racism is not disagreeing with a liberal. And, uh,. I don't know what the future holds. I guess we'll see. But I wanted to tell this story. This is just a short snippet of the story. My family paid a, a really heavy price for the policies, failed policies, disgusting anti-science policies of the Liberals. Um, and we're still paying that price. And I don't know if we'll ever recover from the harms that have been done to my family. And um, I could go into detail on that, but I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, if, if requested, if people want to know the more...
more personal story, I will tell that story. Um, I don't know, like, I would like to say God help us, but why would God help us if we don't want to help ourselves? And I honestly tried to make a difference. And uh, if you're a person who cares about the direction that this country is taken, I hope you have better luck than I did. Um, you know, I'm not a weffer. I'm not a globalist. Um, I'm, and I'm all for peace order grid government, smaller government, lower taxes, less red tape, less government intrusion. That's my idea of good governance. You know, just get the hell out of our way, get your knee off our necks, let us live our lives and be productive, responsible members of society. And, uh, I guess that's it for